in the gap between Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, and 7, The Force Awakens. We are here discussing Marvel Comics, Star Wars, Shattered Empire, Issue Number 4. Though much effort has been put forth to combat the Empire in the various fronts of Operation Cinder, the Rebel leader, General Medin, and Admiral Akbar do not see an end to the fighting at this time. It seems Shara Bey and Kes Dameron have both put in request to discharge themselves from the New Republic military operations. However, it seems there is one last mission for Shara before she leaves the fighting for good. R2-D2 shows up and gets Shara's attention to follow him, where he leads her to none other than Luke Skywalker, who is in need of a co-pilot for a trip out to Vatin to pick up something. Luke has asked her to impersonate an Imperial ISB officer in order to infiltrate a base where the Emperor has something that was stolen a long time ago. Shara's deception seems to be going off unnoticed, and she manages to get led right to the very thing Luke was trying to recover, a couple of trees that the Empire seems to be studying. However, the Commandant of the base has realized Shara is not who she says she is. The only reason he has led them straight to the trees is to discover what's so important about them. Luke speaks up at this point, saying that these are all that remain of the tree that grew at the heart of the Jedi Temple in Coruscant. They seem to have a connection to the Force. A firefight begins. Luke manages to throw the Imperials off balance and then grabs his lightsaber. He calls to Shara to make sure she gets the trees, and not to let them fall to the ground once the suspension field is turned off. Luke seems to be putting a lot of trust in her. You can also pick up a tone in his words where critical pieces of information in a high-pressure situation are said calmly, as if they were not as urgent as they really are. This is a type of tone we have heard often in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace by Qui-Gon Jinn. It really speaks to someone who has placed a lot of trust in the Force. Luke, having more advanced control over the Force than we've seen before, easily clears a path back to their shuttle. In the shuttle bay, the Commandant tells the stormtroopers to throw detonators at Luke as the blaster fire is not effective. However, Luke easily sends the detonators back to the feet of the Imperials, where they are lost in the explosion. Luke and Shara board their shuttle to head back to the New Republic forces. On their way back, Luke discusses Shara's departure from the fighting. If the cost of our struggle is the lives we fall to protect, the future we hope to see, then what is it we were fighting for? Luke seems to support her decision to leave the fighting, and is interested in giving her one of the trees to her for safekeeping, as he was unaware there were two. He only needs the one. As this miniseries concludes, Shara and Kes are seen planting the tree in the ground outside their new home on what has been confirmed to be Yavin 4. It is interesting to see how much important Luke placed on the trees and his willingness to give one over to someone he doesn't know very well. We are now left with the knowledge that Poe Dameron grew up around one of these trees. I am not sure if it speaks to anything about his force sensitivity but it does seem to indicate that the Dameron family has a larger role to play in the universe than frontline fighters. The Shattered Empire series has also shown us the connection that Shara Bay and Kes Dameron have with Luke, Leia, and Han, and we know from the novel Moving Target that Leia seems to have a close relationship to Poe Dameron. Though the fighting has ended for Shara and Kes, their story is just beginning. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit us on Facebook. Till next time, may the Force be with you.